Hi guys, Squirrel here, and welcome to my Namalsk map and loot guide. Namalsk, if you don't know, is one of the later maps for the DayZ mod. In my opinion, this is definitely one of the better ones. It certainly suits my style of play, which is more PvP centric. The reason this map is suited to PvP uh, aspects is because of the sheer volume of military loot, as you can see here. There are an awful lot of deer stands and an awful lot of military spawns. In this video, I shall take you over this map uh, briefly and show you where some of the key aspects are. I'll also show you some good looting routes to take and give you some ideas about how to orient yourself and use flyovers to illustrate my points. Now, Namalsk is set uh, in the Bering Strait, which is an area between Alaska and Russia. That basically means it's within the Arctic Circle. It's very cold, very tundrous, and it's quite hard to survive here. Uh, it's not just the other players, it's actually, there are not that many animals around, and also you'll find that blood is a major issue. The reason it's a major issue is because of one little trick. If we just zoom into here, you will see that these are two hospitals, and these are in fact the only hospitals on Namalsk currently. If you want blood bags, you've got to go here. In order to get here, you'll have to cross one of two points, either this causeway, or this bridge. Most commonly is to cross this causeway and you'll find that this is quite a high traffic area for players coming from the north or from the south wanting to get blood bags from here. Uh, that makes it quite a PvP hub. Uh, if you get blood bags, spread them among your friends and stay safe. That's my advice because you will find you will need them in Namalsk. Now then, if we actually look at the residential aspects of Namalsk, this is the other interesting point. There are not many residential areas apart from in the north. In fact, they're all located in Vorkuta, apart from the odd scatterings of houses lying around the map. As you know, you can get food and drink from residential areas. And essentially what this means is that the vast majority of food and drink will be found in the north. There is actually a general store at the old hospital and there's a general store at Vorkuta. Um, but there are lots and lots of apartments around Vorkuta where you can basically gear up with your basic supplies before you head out to get some weapons uh, which is very easy to do and I'll show you that in a second. Now this area here is also interesting this is Subjan Dam this is there's a dam here lots of body of water and there's also an airfield it says airport but it's actually just an airfield and a chemical plant. What's interesting about this area is it has these military towers and these military towers have good uh, military spawns at the top of them usually AKs they give you a good vantage point while you're up there, but they also make you a bit of a target. So my advice is to go up, get whatever weapons you find, and get down and get out of there. Be very careful when you do so. This is a through area from the north to the south, which means you'll find there's a lot of players moving through these areas. Be very careful when you do so. The reason to head down south here uh, to this mountainous terrain uh, is because of the deer stands, and but more importantly these military barracks. In this area alone, this army base, there are five barracks. There are two to the west of it, and there are three to the east. That means if you're looking to gear up, you'll find some very good loot here. You'll also find that the chopper crash sites are scattered around these mountains. And because you're so high up, particularly at the peak here, you'll find you get a good vantage point to look down for the uh, helicopter smoke, which is a telltale sign of a crashed helicopter. Be very careful when you do come down south though because you'll need to make sure you've not only got a weapon but you've got food and drink and preferably heat packs. If you can't get heat packs, take wood and matches. Make sure you can make a fire because when you've got these mountains, temperature is a real problem. Other than that, this small island is particularly useless apart from the old hospital. If you do spawn around here, then my advice is to make your way to this causeway. Run across the causeway. Uh, along the edges there, you'll find yourself you get some decent defilade cover and make your way up into the uh, residential areas of Vorkuta. Look for some bags, food, uh, drink and weapons. So now let's switch over and I shall show you some looting routes to take on Namalsk. Okay, so this is Vorkuta. This is the, uh, the apartment complex that you can see. It's very easy to get yourself disoriented around Vorkuta due to the high-rise apartment blocks. However, there are some tricks to this and I'll show you those in a second. The key thing about this area, apart from the residential blocks, 
is the links it has to the rest of the island and also the uh, general store and there's a fire station here that we, you can loot. Now you'll notice there's a crane, a yellow crane, you can use that to orient yourself in the north part of the, um, the town. Also there's a chimney stack that you can look for, this is a uh, heating power plant and you can see these red pipes running along the west side of the town. And if you was to follow these around, you would find they come around to the south here and end up at the southeast part of Orkuta. So they go, the, the pipes go around the south. If you find those pipes, you're around the west and south and you can follow those around to the chimney stack if you want to. Take a look at the yellow crane. You can usually spot that from somewhere in Vorkuta. Next to the uh, yellow crane is the general store and the fire station. The fire station is just to the right there. So if you get yourself over to that crane, you can soon find the fire station. And also, just to the left, here is the general store. Now, the general store, you can expect to be quite busy, and uh, there's a lot of people around here because, there's, you know, you're looking for a bag or a map or food or drink. That's the place to go. But, importantly, from the yellow crane and the general store, you can get to this chimney stack. The reason this is interesting is because there's actually power lines that will take you further into the map. If you follow the power lines from this chimney stack, you will find they go down this road. And as you head down this road, there is a deer stand here. And if you keep going, the power lines will eventually take you towards the dam area. In the distance there, you can see the causeway and to the left is the island. This is a chemical factory. Uh, to the chemical factory, if you look towards the west, which is this direction, this is the dam over here. This is one of the first of the uh, the towers I was telling you about, the guard towers. There's military spawns in and around those towers. And there are actually three of those located around this area. This is the dam itself. This also has a tower. And in the distance over here, you can see a third tower. This is a crossable area on, f on foot. You don't have to swim this, so you can quickly loot three towers all within this dam area. So once again, you get to this by following the power lines from Vorkuta Heating Station, and this will bring you out here. And if you follow them back, it'll straight, take you straight back to Vorkuta. However, also from this heating plant, there is actually another route you can take, which will hit up an awful lot of military areas. Again, follow the power lines from the heating down the road and pick up this first deer stand here probably won't have much loot in it because it'll tend to get hit up quite a lot. From here, if you look to the hill, you will see as you go over this farmland, there's another deer stand. Just up from this deer stand is a tower, again with military loot, and it will give you a really good vantage point. You can see all the other towers in the dam from here, see if there's any danger. Look for this crossing road here, and if you head down, you'll find yet another deer stand. That's three deer stands and a military tower, but we're not finished yet keep to the road and at the top of this hill there is a fourth deer stand and yet again over the other side of this hill really close to it is a fifth deer stand then you simply look to the south and you can see the dam and you can go and hit up the three towers that we talked about so that is a high military uh, run that you can make to quickly gear up from Vorkuta on the map, those uh, routes I just showed you briefly come from Vorkuta down the road here. This is the road here, and these are the deer stands, and that brings you down to the chemical factory and the towers that I talked about. The other route I showed you takes you from Vorkuta and takes you th from this deer stand to the second one, the military tower, the three deer stands, and back down to the dam. There is also another route which I'm going to show you now, which will take you from, again from the heating tower, heating factory, it will take you through these deer stands here, through Alakit, down through some more deer stands, and into this interesting area here, which is the Northern Army Base, which has barracks, and then up into Lubjansk, which also has some more military barracks. So let's take a look at that route. Okay, so again, starting from the heating factory, we're gonna follow these power lines, and at this road junction here, we're going to take the right, but keep left, and head for these rocks up here. Once we get up these rocks, there are two military uh, deer stands. And if you look to the left from this high vantage point, you should be able to see a lacket over here, which is the buildings in front. And on the way, there's another deer stand. 
Now from Alakit, you want to turn right and just head up towards the peak of this hill. You should see the water on your left as you're moving, but up on the peak you'll see these power lines here. Then you can follow these power lines, that will guide you down the other side of this hill. We're heading in between the, the sea and the, um, the pool on the left. This road and these power lines here, this is the barracks. So you take a left turn off the road and there are multiple barracks in this area. This is the army base, so uh, you should find some decent gear around here. I've certainly had some firefights around here, so look out for other players. From the barracks, you can then head over towards the coast and you should then find that there are more barracks down here and it should, it should be quite easy to spot. This is the coast, there's a lighthouse to the right, there's a crane and there's a few barracks around here. By the time you get here you will almost certainly have picked up some weapons and almost certainly have seen another player. Now as I mentioned earlier if you do spawn on this island, this island by the way is called Tara Island. Uh, the actual peak here is, is Tara Peak and there's Tara Harbour to the east. There's also Nemsk Factory, not to be confused with Nemsk itself. If you find yourself spawning in Nemsk, then simply head west. You can use either coastline and get yourself to Vorkuta. There are military uh, deer stands all over the place. If you spawn in Nemsk Factory, you are actually in the northern part of Tara Island. Uh, if, as I said earlier, if you do spawn in and around Tara Island, then your best bet is to head straight to the old hospital, look for some food and drink in a backpack, maybe even a compass, and then get across the causeway and head up to Vorkuta. And let's take a look at that route now. This is Old Hospital. This is what it looks like. In the distance there, you can see the causeway. That links to the main island. Now, there is a couple of cranes here, but uh, you don't really need to orient yourself too much. Uh, the general store is here. And you can find some basic supplies in the general store. However, the real reason to come to Old Hospital is, of course, the two hospitals. This is one here. It backs onto an office and then another office and then another hospital. So they're a mirror image of each other. Having got yourself some supplies, you can head down this hill here. And this is the causeway linking Tara Island to the main island. Now then, you need to be careful as you cross this. Stay along the coast, preferably this left coast. And you should get some defilade cover from any players coming down from Vorkuta. Uh, they've possibly or more likely got weapons while you haven't if you spawned here. If you head in a straight line, you can hit that tower up there. And as we've already seen, there is another tower at this dam, uh, a crossing over this water, and then another tower. I wouldn't suggest you come to this third tower. I suggest you cross the dam and do the reverse of the, the route I showed you, uh, which is across the dam and then back through the deer stands. Uh, it takes you across this road. If you do hit this road and you're a bit lost, just follow this into this compound, get up one of these towers and you should see Vorkuta in the distance and you can simply get into town that way. Okay, so what if you came from Vorkuta in the north and you've got some basic supplies, maybe a, a good weapon, and what you fancy doing is going down and hitting up these mountains and looking for chopper spawn points. One of the ways you can do this, because it's very easy to get yourself disoriented and lost in, uh, as you traverse this middle island, so one way of doing it is to come down from Vorkuta to the chemical factory, cross over the causeway into Old Hospital, and then from Old Hospital head over Tara Peak straight down to the sawmill down here, and you can make a crossing over Tara Bridge. Now the reason this is quite a straightforward route is because you've got a road which you can follow down to the old sawmill, cross over Tara, uh, Tara Bridge, and again you've got a road that you can follow to Brensk Railway Station. Having got to Brent's Railway Station, it's very easy to then head north into the into Object All, hit up the military areas, up to the peak of Saraja Army Base, and then west into the Southern Army Base. And whilst you're up here, you can look for the chopper spawn points. So let's take a look at that route actually on the map. Starting at the old hospital again, I'll assume that you've come over the, uh, the causeway there, hit up the hospitals, and what you want to do is you want to follow this road below and you want to follow up to our left to the to the peak of Tara Peak. Over there is the main island, that's where we're going to be going. But in order to get there we head up this road, up to Tara Peak, there's nothing interesting there at all. But what you can do is you can follow the road all the way down to the old sawmill. 
The old sawmill is dead ahead, straight down here. And that is Tara Bridge. Now Tara Bridge is a large crossing. You probably need to be careful when you're going over it, but uh, you know, I, I don't expect much player activity here, but just keep your eye out anyway. When you cross over Tara Bridge, uh, you can't go underneath it. Uh, it takes too long to swim, so you're going to have to run along this track here. Having got across, uh, you want to follow the road around and over this small bridge here. This is going. This is Brensk Bridge. Then this is Brensk Railway Station. Uh, Brensk Railway Station has some industrial stuff, but again, nothing particularly useful. Follow this road here. This road is going to take us over to a place called Objects All. Objects All actually has three barracks in it, uh, which you can hit up. So you should be able to get some military loot from this area. It also happens to have a water pump just there in the center of the screen. So if you've got a water bottle, again, you can fill up with some supplies. And after that, you're going to be heading up this peak. Now this is where your temperature is going to start to drop. So make sure you've got wood and heat packs ready. But when you get to the top, you are presented with no fewer than five different military spawns. If you can't find gear here, I'll be pretty amazed. Remember, whilst you're up here, you want to be looking around down the side of the hills, looking for those chopper spawn points. But otherwise, you want to head west down this road, down the slope now to the southern army base. Uh, this has a couple of barracks as well that you can hit. And there's actually a road that leads out of here. This road is a northern road. This is heading back into the island now and heading back down towards Norinsk. This is Norinsk. It's uh, an industrial um, railway station, if you like. As you can see, it's still under construction. Um, but from here, you can basically follow uh, the track, which is this track here. So if you follow the track, there's a, a military guard tower that you can hit up there. And just stick on this track all the way over to what's called the Sebjan Mine. Bit of a strange name, but there you go. Uh, again, there's another tower that you can hit up there. And the road will take you over the top to Sebjan itself. This is Sebjan. Nothing at all interesting in Sebjan. But you can see the causeway to your right. And that completes your circuit around the map. Okay, so that completes my look at the Nemelsk map. I've shown you some looting points, some looting routes to take, how to get gear, uh, and how to orient yourself around the map. In terms of installing it, it's quite simple with Daisy Commander. You simply go to Install Update, make sure you're on the latest version, and you should see Daisy Namalsk here. Install. Once that's installed, you'll then have the, the map. And then simply it's a matter of choosing Namalsk from the drop-down list over here. And that will give you a bunch of Namalsk servers with which you can play on. And hopefully you'll enjoy it as much as I'm enjoying it. Take care, guys. See you soon.